watching for these, you're watching wind speed, you're watching all this stuff that contributes to, hey, now we got to clean up everywhere. And, and coming through, the first thing I wanted to see this morning as the wind started to subside, what kind of wind did we see? How close were the models? They missed it by the rainfall, but in a good way. Yeah. We were talking about two to four, it came up one to three. I think most people right. would be happy Great. with that. Okay with that. <laughs> the wind, it was almost spot on. And, and when we had the tropical storm warnings, we had the hurricane warnings, we said a number of times, these are the areas where the hurricane force winds will come in. Alma posted a 100 mile an hour wind gust. Um, Waycross was in the 70s. Jax was in the 70s. Every single spot had at least tropical storm force, minimum of 50 miles an hour, and then all the way up to that 100 mile an hour point. And that's why the cleaning up continues today across most of the area with uh, power outages that are still mm -hmm. being yeah. fixed here with power pull down and things like that. So please continue to send them in. We use those wind reports and we use the damage kind of go along with it. So it helps tell that story. Let's take you into where things are still looking bad here. This is as Helene tropical depression is continuing with so much rain through the Carolinas moving into Tennessee. As a matter of fact, currently there's a helicopter rescue taking place in Tennessee because of the flooding. And you look at some of these numbers, you're like four inches, six inches, you get into the mountains and all of a sudden six inches over an area of an acre could be as much as uh, two feet of water by the time it gets into, you know, if everything funnels down into a valley uh, where you have five Five, six, seven, and how about this? Around Asheville, areas as much as 13 inches, and it continues. So lots of flooding here, and even parts of I-40, which kind of um, beautifully snake, very scenic uh, highway that goes between the Carolinas and, can, and um, Tennessee, part of it has washed out because of the amount of rain. All right, we're going to be keeping our eyes on a couple of spots here. I'm going to keep uh, Isaac and Joyce there in the back of the mind since neither are concerned and they're in the Atlantic one moving away. But this one tries to get brewing in the same area. And I'll say that the models have blipped on it a couple of times. One time it's aiming over toward the east. The other time it's heading to the west. A lot of similarities in the way that this is, at least starting with the model data coming up from what we saw there with Aline. And I think that's all I have to say. It's in the Caribbean heading toward parts of the Gulf of Mexico. We need to keep an eye on it, simple enough. 88 outside right now, and it looks like some of the uh, reporting equipment may have been messed up over the course of the uh, rain and everything coming through, so we're missing some of the icons. But the humidity coming down, 48%, and we're over near the airport there along uh, US-1 as you get into um, St. John's County, 19 mile an hour winds, and we're still only talking 44%, and this one is coming from Mayport. The point is that the air drying things out will make it a little bit not only nicer to get things done, but also going to give us a little crisp feel for the start of Saturday in what will be 60s to those lower 70s. Saturday, starting early, the front is going to continue to push through. It gets to the south here, but I would draw a line from around, say, St. John's County out through Alachua. And between that line is where we'll see the spotty chance for showers. Now, Sunday, it continues to climb, and that could bring some showers here locally. And then Monday, the same idea is that frontal boundary as it lingers could be a focal point for more of the showers and storms until it will finally push through. And even though we'll still have what would be the seasonal offering here, the uh, high pressure and low pressure area um, will combine keeping that flow, turning it back on shore. So typically that pushes the showers here across some of the inland areas of Northeast Florida. But our typical late uh, summer, you know, actually early fall type of forecast is what we'll see as we look to next week. So let's take you through starting here at Brunswick all the way over to areas around Yulee. We'll find that 20% chance, a few spotty showers. I actually think that I-10 and South will have the better chance. So I would take down uh, Brunswick, Yulee and areas anywhere north of I-10 to as little as 10%, but keep the 20%, whether it's beachside here at Ponte Vedra, like I said, drawing a line there from St. John's County over to Alachua, which will keep Putnam County, even areas of Keystone. I'm not seeing the 60%. This is because the two models overlap and it does crazy things with the numbers. 20 to 30% at max. Same idea here for Keystone. We're going to look at the uh, chance for those spotty showers as they continue, but once we get to the Berg northward and hovering along that I-10 line, this is where we'll 
we'll see what will be more about a 20% chance. How does that do for the nanometer? Well, it's finally Friday, so we'll get a plus one. We've got cleaning up, conditions are pleasant, and maybe we get to take a break from now and then with the uh, showers as they'll come through. We'll go ahead and make that a 10. 72 degrees as we'll start our day. 60s though, southeast Georgia, a cooler start with what will be that 20% chance as we build in a little bit of heat along with that frontal boundary. The 20%, actually it's 10%, and that's why we saw it early in the morning building into the 20% throughout the afternoon. Sunday not looking too bad, although we'll dodge a shower or two. Most of that coming in after 2 o'clock as well. Same pattern on Monday, and there you go. Reduce the rain chances, bring back partly cloudy skies, and some seasonal temperatures for the work week. All right, thank you, Richard.